You know, we've been kind of talking around here lately that a lot of people just are not aware that they have a lot of unawares about themselves, about things in the world, and even things of God. I want to start a three-part thing, unless the Lord changes them, which, which he does quite oftenly. <laughs> uh, maybe that's not most grammatically correct. Yeah. But that's all right. That's all right. If you understand what I say, that's fine. Mm. Well, you know, we need to become aware of things. Mm -hmm. And when we look at awareness, the action is knowledge or our perception Ooh. of situation facts are, are, are people. Yes. Mm -hmm. We see that there's evil in the world. And there's wickedness in the world. We see this just as recently at the war in Israel. We see wicked people. Yeah. But we have to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Mm. And there's this wickedness in this world. But there are actually people saying that there's no such thing as the devil. Ooh, wait. They are saying that, you know, if God was this way, he, how did he create the devil? But we have to understand he was a fallen angel. He got to the point that because of pride and jealousy, that he thought he was Man. equal to God. Man. Well, in Revelations 12, 9, mm -hmm. and 10, to Revelations 12, 9, and 10, it says, mm. and the great dragon was cast out, mm -hmm. that old serpent called the devil mm. and Satan. When deceiveth the whole world, mm. he was cast out into the earth mm. with his angels were cast out with him. Now, there is Satan in this world. Mm -hmm. He was cast down to the earth. Yes. And people... They need to understand, they need to get to the point, they need to have knowledge that there is a such thing as Satan. Yes. They need to understand their perception of him. Mm. How he does create disturbances in our lives, disturbances in the world, and total turmoil. Mm. In Revelation 12.10 it says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ, our Messiah. For the accuser of the brethren is cast down and will accuse them before our God day and night. Well, the good thing as we see in this scripture that God sent Jesus, the Son of God, to die for us. Amen. To stand Boy. in the place. Boy. To so that we might be saved. Mm. But see, Satan is still here and he's the accuser of the brethren. He is always dealing with our minds. He's always saying things. He's always nah. creating mm -hmm. corruption. Nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. He's always causing wickedness mm -hmm. and he's at the point nowadays as we see that he's saying that evil is good and good is evil and he's trying to do such a deception on people's minds and we need to get to the point that there is a real Satan mm -hmm. it is very real people deny things they say well it's just human human way people are mm. but there's a reason why they're that way yes mm -hmm. we see in john mm -hmm. eight forty four, it says mm -hmm. jesus was talking to the pharisees and the pharisees are trying to trick him in a lot of things they're trying to get him to say something wrong so they could accuse him oh. satan was using them to be the accuser oh. of satan i mean of jesus saying that he was not the Messiah. He was not the, the, the salvation of the world. 
In John 8, 44, it says, ye, Jesus was talking to the Pharisees and he says this to them. Ye are the father of the devil. Ye are of your father of the devil. Mm -hmm. The lust of the father ye will do. He is a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Mm. This is what's going through the world now. Mm. Satan is creating all these lies into people. Mm. He's creating lies and things about, you know, it's all right to have abortions. It's all right to have more than one gender. He's, he's causing confusion in people's minds. He is trying, and he sets everything as what he speaks, people are believing as the truth, which is just the opposite, because there's only one truth, that is Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. God, and there's only yeah. one truth. Yeah. But we have to understand that people are saying there is no such thing as the devil. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, it doesn't take much to look around to see what is going in all the turmoil and all this mm -hmm. and what we see the spirit that is on the people while well, we look at second corinthians 4 4 and it says in whom the god of this world satan mm -hmm. the devil the old serpent mm -hmm. we see have blinded the minds of mm. them which believe not. Mm. That's his whole job, mm. is to put blinders on people, to blind their minds because they My. so they will not see things that they really My. are. That's the reason why we need Jesus more because he is mm. the light of the world. But he goes on here and says, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the image of God, should shine upon them. So he goes out, and that's his whole thing. He wants the people to not have any knowledge or perception that he exists. Mm -hmm. And they're just mm -hmm. trying to say, well, this is just the way God created man to be uh -huh. evil and this and that and other. He's blinded. Mm. He has blinded people's minds. Mm. It's caused that confusion. In Luke 21, 14, it's 34, excuse me. Luke 21, 34, it says, take heed to yourself. Mm. What is he saying? Guard your hearts. Mm. Guard yourself. Take heed and become aware of, and be, have that perception and knowledge that Satan does exist. Take heed mm -hmm. that he's come here to yeah. kill, steal, and destroy. That he is coming here to cause all that confusion in the world. So people's eyes will not be on the one true and living God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is his whole job. Mm -hmm. So we say, it says, take heed to yourselves. Guard yourself. At least any time your hearts will be overcharged with suffering, drunkenness, and cares of this life. Otherwise, what is he saying? He is saying that, that don't let, don't let the things of this world that looks like glamour, don't let the, the, these mm. joys that are false mm. joys mm. and false pleasures mm. overcome you. He mm. wants us to be so busy and trying to please our own self mm. and to be so self-centered that we leave God out of it. Mm. He says... Don't be in the cares of life. Otherwise, he wants to cause all this anxiety in us. Nah. Mm. 
that will be anxious for anything that comes about. He wants to put that fear, which anxiety is caused by fear. Yes. He wants to put fear into our hearts, into our mind, and into our actions. Mm. And keep us mm. unaware of his tricks and his mm. wiles and his schemes that he has. Yes. To keep us from seeing the true gospel as it is and also mm. seeing Christ as he is, as our Savior and our Deliverer, and keeping us from listening to the Holy Spirit, which is our comforter mm -hmm. and gives us direction and keeping our eyes off of the God of the universe. Mm -hmm. He wants to get us so involved in the cares of this life mm -hmm. and all the issues of life. Mm -hmm. So we lose the what reality really is. Mm -hmm. What he, he wants us to be so unaware. Mm. Let's see, again, the world says there's no such thing as Satan. They say God is dead. So as God is dead, so Satan doesn't exist. Mm. And they're trying to say, you know, it's just the, wow. it's just the way men are. But Satan is the father of lies and he's the stimulus of causing people to fall. Now we go on and it says that, mm -hmm. reading that scripture again, take heed to yourself, pay attention to yourself, at least any time your hearts will be overcharged with suffering, drunkenness, and cares of this life. Mm. Now drunkenness is not only being drunk on alcohol, but drunk with the cares of life, that we are so overwhelmed with all circumstances mm -hmm. in this life My. that you can't see anything else mm -hmm. except those cares that you're going through and those problems. People have health problems. They get so consumed. That's what it's saying. Don't be so consumed of what is going on. And that's what he wants to do is take our life to be so consumed of what is happening that we forget who the answer and who our source is. Boy. That the problem is so big and is so overwhelming that we cannot see any end mm -hmm. and we don't have any truth that's going through us. That's his whole thing. Yeah. And then he says, the cares of life so that it may come unto you unaware. Ooh. Unawares. What is it? awareness is the knowledge and perception that something exists or actually the situations that we can see what the situations truly are mm -hmm. and the facts of life. And the main thing, in fact, we need to know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but demonic mm -hmm. spirits and oh. Satan himself, the old serpent. But he wants to have that life. Mama. Luke 21, 35 says, For as a snare it shall come upon them that dwell on the face of the earth. Otherwise, what is he saying? I am. trap so we see this he's setting traps for us so he tells us pay attention and pray always 
that you may be accounted worthy to escape that we become un he wants us to not have any knowledge and perception that he exists mm -hmm. he doesn't even want you to know that the traps and snares are out ah. there mm -hmm. he wants us to be so confused in our minds and when we get confusion in our minds that we change our attitudes, and then when we change our attitudes, we change our performance. And when we change our performance, we change our lives. Mm, He's such Lord. a deceiver. Lord. He's an accuser of the brethren. Mm. And he goes day and night to tell them, say, mm -hmm. look here, look what, look what Skip's doing. He's not your child. Mm. And he's always throwing it up to God. Mm. But it is us that we need to know that greater is he that is in us than he's in the world. Yes. This world is Satan's right now. But mm. there is going to come to a time that he's going to be cast into the lake of fire and all of his fallen angels. Mm. But this is the thing. We need to be aware that we are fighting an enemy. And the enemy is not flesh and blood. But it's the spirits upon the people that Satan puts on them. And we have to not be caught. Unaware. Of the things that Satan wants to do to us. And to help us to fall. But sometimes we do fall. But if we fall seven times, we just get back up Lord. and keep and repent mm -hmm. and go forth again. Yes. But we have to be aware that we are not not just here alone. But Satan wants to catch us unaware. Mm. of the schemes and a lot of the things that he wants to do looks really good wow. looks really good mm. and he wants us to fall because he wants us to keep looking at the things of the world yes. and not looking to God as our resource Ooh. and loving God with all of our heart mind body and soul mm. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Help us be totally aware that we're not fighting against flesh, but we're fighting against demonic spirits and Satan himself, the great accuser of the brethren, the old serpent. Father, we just say right now, make us aware of the attacks that he's trying to do upon us. Give us our strength to keep from falling and look to you as our strength. Look to you as our strength. And Father, we thank you that we'll never lose the hope of our, our salvation. Because Christ in us is our glory. Father, we thank you right now that we know who our enemy is. And when we look at him, we are able to put him under our feet. And when he sees the bottom of our feet, he sees Jesus. Because Jesus paid the price for us. Father, we thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen.